So now that we've created a frame animation, the last thing we're going to need to do is we need to save this as a GIF file. Okay, in order to save this file, what you need to do is instead of going to save as, and this will vary depending on what version of Adobe Photoshop you have, even if you have CC 2014 or 2013 and not 2015, this is going to change. In every earlier version before 2015, uh, there was an option here called Save for Web. With the new version, um, with CC 2015, you have to go down to Export and then go to Save for Web Legacy. And what they're doing is they're in the process of changing how they do this and they haven't added the GIF functionality to their, their standard exporter yet. Um, you can export it as a still GIF, but you can't do an animated GIF. So we still need to click on Save for Web Legacy. If you're in 2015, if you're in an early version, it's just Save for Web under the File menu. And once we do this, there's a couple things we want to check. Basically, everything should be fine. We can go in and you could resize this. You could scale it. You can even say what size you want it to be. Um, 504 by 360 is a fine size. You don't want to go too big with this because uh, the GIF format can only hold so much information. So that either means there's, there's a limit on the number of frames you can have. That's, it's really a limit of frames times resolution, right? So um, the lower resolution you have, the larger number of frames you can have. The higher resolution you have, the fewer number of frames you can have. All right, so we're going to say 504 by 360. Great. And you want to make sure your looping option is set to forever. And then you go ahead and you hit save. And you leave everything else just the same. It automatically chooses the best colors, that, like the colors that you need to make this look as good as possible. So I'm going to hit save and then save optimized as frame animation demo sun.gif and I will put this with everything else in my Photoshop demos folder. I'm going to hit save. And then the best way to the best way to view a gif animation that you've saved is to go to your is to oh, is to open it in a browser basically. So I can go to Google Chrome and I can go up to file and I can say open file and every browser has a similar option. And I can find my Photoshop demos folder and then find my GIF animation wherever it may be. Here we go. Frame anim deno sun.gif. All right, and you can see even in the preview, I can see it animating. So I hit open and it'll open it in here. Now, I actually prefer using Firefox for previewing GIF animations because Firefox when you just show an image like this, it slaps it in the middle of the screen and it makes the background a dark gray so the GIF really stands out nicely and is framed nicely rather than just being right up in the top left corner. Okay, and so that's how to save a GIF animation.